News 10. Welcome back. Do you have a child heading to college and moving into the dorms? While living in the dorms is part of the college experience, the space can be a little outdated. That's why we have interior designer Leslie Myrick here to share some of her ideas to help your college student express their creativity, show off their personality, and transform even the small space into a stylish oasis. Well, thank you, Leslie, for joining us again. You're welcome. Glad to be here. All right, so dorm rooms have come a long way. Mm -hmm. What trends, though, do you see this season? A lot of color, which I'm so, so grateful for. Dorm rooms can be, as you mentioned, sort of boring, concrete. You're stuck with the walls. You're stuck with the furniture. So I think it's great to bring in color in any way you can to bring a lot more life to the space. Right. So tell us more about how you can personalize your dorm room and make it your own home away from home. Well, there's no point focusing on what you can't change. You usually can't hang things on the wall. You can't often change the furniture. You can't change the horrible flooring that you get in there. You can put things up temporarily on the wall, and you can bring in color through bedding, through accessories, through accent pieces like small chairs, maybe your desk chair. Mm -hmm. So that's what I like to focus on. Let go of what you can't change and just really embrace what you can and have a lot of fun with it. So you brought some examples. So tell us what would be in your dorm room if you were heading to college, like Baylor this mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the place I would start with is bedding. Everyone's got a bed. Everyone needs somewhere to sleep. And even with basic white bedding, Something like this could be fantastic. A duvet set and a coverlet that's got a really strong color that you love. An accent pillow, maybe something with a little bit of texture. That way you sort of elevate the really basic pieces and give them your own flair and personality. You might not be into the electric yellow and teal like I am, but there's so many great options out there that are really, really affordable mm -hmm. that can really make your dorm room look like something very special and very intentional and not just an afterthought. Right. And you can also hang, you can't really hang pictures, but you can put some wallpaper or make it look like some wallpaper. Explain mm -hmm. how you can do that. Well, there are a lot of wall decals available that are peel and stick. They're removable. Some of them are just, you know, like little individual pictures, sort of laser cut shapes. What I love is removable wallpaper, which actually comes and looks like wallpaper, but has its a peel and stick back. So it's basically a giant sticker. And it's a little bit of an investment, but if you were to do it, say, just above your bed as if it were a headboard or a little accent wall, mm -hmm. it can be a really affordable way to get a fantastic look because you can't usually stick things to walls but this is a little bit of a loophole that I'm a really really big fan of when decorating for a dorm or for a rental apartment anything in that kind of a, um, arena where you can't make major structural changes right and how can you can students express their creativity through their dorm room tell us some other ways they can well books are a necessary evil when you're in college not always evil but there's some we all don't <laughs> love reading yes um, one thing I love to do is group books by color I think it's really pretty and really cohesive to have things where you get this visual sense that it's intended to be there and not just this mismatch of colors and shapes and spines and sizes. Mm -hmm. So when possible, I love to do that. Tie in really, you know, really beautiful colored accessories that also go with the books. It kind of helps tame that chaos of odds and ends that you need for your school program and makes it feel more calming, more intentional, and just a little bit more peaceful to be in. That's very interesting. I like that. And um, if anyone has any questions, any of our viewers that want to go in and help their, uh, their kid decorate their dorm room, you're doing a special for our viewers, so tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that. Sure. I offer two-hour design consultations, and they're a really great way for parents and or students to chat with me, get some ideas, get a design plan going. And for anyone that books a two-hour consultation, I'm going to offer a bonus 30-minute follow up session so that we can really follow through and create a fantastic space for your student this season. Great. And so we talk a little bit about dorm rooms, but you also like fashion and accessories. Mm -hmm. What else do you see trending this school year that students can tie their dorm room into their accessories oh, and fashion? That is a great question. Well, clearly I love matching my home. I sort of found the colors that I like and gravitate to, and I think that's something I'd recommend for everybody is figuring out what you like, what you're drawn to, and working that in and making sort of a whole package out mm -hmm. of it. Very nice. So, Leslie, if anyone has any questions, how can they reach you? Sure. You can reach me on the web at lesliemyrick.com. All right. Well, thank you so much thank for you. coming on and uh, showing us these wonderful ideas for a dorm room. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. And when we come back, Sean will give us a look at our forecast. Stay with us.